hey guys how y'all doing today hope you guys are having an amazing day um i know it's been a while since we last spoke it's been a while in fact i checked my youtube channel yesterday and i saw that the last video i made for you guys was four months ago so i have been a wall for four months and even before that i know i've kind of like been on and off youtube and then um yeah i've just not been into youtube for a while and i think maybe since the beer market started or something maybe that's what actually really caused all this but it's totally unrelated but anyways um where have i been that's why i'm making this video so as for what i have been up to and where i have been if you guys remember the um, late last year i believe at the end of last year i'm going to leave the video in the description below anyways i told you guys that um this year was going to be a very very tough year right for the entire market cryptocurrency forex stocks whatever it is this year was going to be a tough year and clearly it has shown in anywhere that you're watching this video from anywhere you are in the world you will see that the economies of the world are in deep shit right now and if you're from a country that has a lot of corruption so they are not they, are, they don't really have much going on with them when you are in the situation that we are in right now you would even be going through it much worse than a country that is much more developed and i'm talking about nigeria which is where most of you are watching this video from anyways so we have definitely had the worst of it right dollar has skyrocketed dollar is now like almost 1200 naira and obviously um when i even made that video for you guys end of last year when i told you guys that this year it's going to be very very crazy and very very tough for people i didn't even think we'll get a dollar that's like one thousand something right and at then dollar was like maybe 300 400 or something like that it wasn't this crazy but clearly we have gone through tough time now and we can clearly see that um this year has been a tough year all right so what i also said in that video that i hope some of you actually took to heart as well obviously it wasn't financial advice still i'm not giving anyone financial advice now is that because of we're going to go through tough times it means that assets are going to drop in price valued assets are going to drop in price meaning your favorite stock um, portfolio is going to be down your crypto best cryptocurrency is going to be down your best um whatever financial instruments you're dealing is going to be down so which means the best time to buy is now this year right right now this is november we are currently towards the end of the year already but the best time to buy is still now really today right so that kind of like links me to where i have been right i have just been i told you guys basically anything you need to do in order to make money in order to double your hustle do it whatever you need to do whatever you need to sell whatever whatever thing you've been holding off do it make as much money as you can so that you're able to buy more assets right so even when i was making that video i was talking to you guys i was also talking to myself as well i was talking to myself as well like yo okay you have to do what you have to do you have to you know um do whatever you can just so that you can double your hustle and make more money and obviously that's what i have been doing i have been doing what whatever i can whatever i could to basically double my hustle and make as much money as i could and basically what i have been doing is just buying more assets buying more assets you know stacking up my crypto stacking up my stock portfolio whatever i could do as best as i could do it just so that you know when we are out of the bear market i will be much better off than when we even entered it in the first place which is what i hope many of you out there also did as well all right so because of that i've been trying to do that and it's not really been easy i'm not gonna lie because um i am currently in a country where um things are just not even going that well even when um the economies of the world were okay we're all in a bull market everybody was enjoying things were still not going that well even in this country because the corruption has been so i'm not trying to get political or anything but basically the system has been so broken that immediately we entered into um a downturn in the world economies nigeria and every other country that 
you know things have been so broken in it obviously we feel the grunt of it just like how everybody is feeling the grunt of it now so things are three times as expensive four times as expensive sometimes even ten times as expensive you know it's it's really really crazy so i'm trying to juggle that trying to live my day to day trying to survive and also too i'm still trying to invest in assets as well it's like the most hardest thing you can do especially if you are not like balanced right if you're not like if you're just coming up it's the most hardest thing to do because in this country right now the economy as it is right now it's barely favoring people that have not come up yet people that are just wanting to start to come up right which is where i fall into that's the category that i fall into where i will just be starting to like come up and start my business and stuff like that the economy just doesn't favor favor people like us anymore except people that have already kind of like made it already i mean everybody is feeling the ground of it but for somebody like me it's just all i'm just trying to say is that it was just or it is just twice as hard or three times as hard as somebody that is already like you know you know what i'm trying to say so yeah basically because of that it meant that i had to Put in twice as much work three times as much work in order to like kind of like get to my goal because i'm trying to like pay the house bills and also still trying to kind of like you know buy assets as well it just took a lot of mental you know capacity from me so i didn't really have time to like make as much youtube video if you guys noticed right from when i made that video at the end of last year right a few months after that was when i really started to kind of like log off youtube because i did, I, could, I, I couldn't be as consistent as i wanted to be anymore my whole um routine just got fucked up so i was not just being able to perform as i used to perform anymore so yeah that is just what i'm, I'm still i'm still going through it right now right but the thought came to me like you know i shouldn't have stopped maybe i should have still keep making my youtube videos and stuff like that but the truth of the matter was that i my brain just wasn't there anymore so now i'm making the conscious effort to make this video to let you guys know what i've been up to and i hope you guys have also been you know filling up that bag as well buying your best cryptocurrencies buying your best stock um, assets buying your best financial assets you know just stock stocking up and stocking up because we are currently towards the end of the bear market right now in fact i think the bull market has started but then again you can never really tell until price goes back up to its previous high right until you see bitcoin nearing sixty thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars then you would know that okay for sure we are out of the bear market right so right now we are towards the end of in my own opinion we are towards the end of the bear market so things are kind of like coming to an end as you can see right now bitcoin currently sits at that six thousand dollars if um cardano sits at 37 cents almost at 40 cents you know every other cryptocurrency as well has been growing and growing so um i hope most of you took advantage of the fact that these cryptocurrencies have been down and stayed down for like over a year right going it's almost three years because at the end of 2020 was when the cryptocurrency market started crashing in price and stuff like that so um i hope you guys have been taking advantage of it which is what i have been doing that is why i have not been on here coupled with trying to survive in nigeria as well it's not been easy as well too so in fact everybody that could leave anybody that can leave is trying to leave and everybody that could leave have already left already so yeah it's not just been it's not just been easy basically things are starting to come back up but it's still gonna take a while the market is not just going to like get back to its previous high in a couple of months it's still gonna steadily do it right now bitcoin is currently almost at the seven thousand dollars i am still expecting it to retrace a little bit although it held a little bit at thirty five thousand dollars for like two weeks which meant that it was kind of like slowing down a little bit but then we are right now we are currently at thirty six thousand dollars the next stop right now is about forty thousand dollars so i'm looking at it to get to forty thousand dollars but then again this kind of crypto cryptocurrencies i'm just buying them and holding them for a for long run i'm not trying to like trade them although i do have a trading account where i kind of like trade them and you know make small profits here and there but for the most part you want to buy these things and hold them for a while that is why you want to accumulate as much as you can during the bear market uh one of the very first live videos that i made 
was um, about the price history of Bitcoin, where I made a research about Bitcoin, which obviously at the end of the day controls the rest of the market right now as it is today. When Bitcoin goes up, the rest of the crypto markets goes up as well, comes down, the rest comes down as well. I checked it and I saw that for that's the cryptocurrency market, we get into this bear market where things are down for like three years and towards the end of the fourth year things now steadily start going up and then we get into this bull market for like two years one and a half years to two years the market goes crazy bitcoin gets to it another hop time all time highs again and things are like great again right during this time there are a lot of people who say the cryptocurrency market is dead there are people who say you know bitcoin is a scam cryptocurrency is a scam all these things are scams but there are people who are buying during this time right the people are just stacking their bags buying as much as they can because the market will go back up again that is just the way the market works any type of market that's the way not just cryptocurrency markets every type of market goes through the time when things are down and then goes back towards the time when things are up again it's just the way of the world right so the thing that happens is that after the new bull market comes and then the assets that people want to buy are their all-time highs people look at it and they're like man i wish i could buy this thing when it was cheap or where was i when it was cheap just kind of like how i would also say where was i when bitcoin was like 20 dollars or where was i when bitcoin was like 60 dollars right because even now that we're going through a bear market if i have like 10 bitcoin that's a lot of money even right now that bitcoin sits at thirty thousand dollars even at bitcoin's lowest low of fifteen thousand dollars right bitcoin would have still been i would still be like in huge profit not to now talk of when bitcoin now increases to like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand and stuff like that right all i'm just trying to say is that you should buy these assets when they're cheap and not wait for when the price is very very high right of course you can still buy it when the price is high but would you rather buy it when it's low or when it's high and obviously you would count yourself among the lucky ones when you are bought during these times and then these things now skyrocket to like huge prices and then you're in much better place in a much better place much sooner than somebody who is just starting in the future all right so basically not to make this video very long that is where i have been that is what i've been trying to do just to acquire more assets and this next bull run is going to be crazy a lot of people are going to make much more money especially those people who listen to what i said late last year right those of you who did you are about to smile right obviously it's not like i said it's not going to just come all of a sudden it's still going to take a while it's probably going to take like maybe one more year or towards the end of 2024 but i believe the bull market has started and in fact i made a video about this a while ago i told you guys that the moment bitcoin crossed Twenty-five thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars or something like that. We're already in the bull market, and obviously you can see that the prices have started coming up since then. And before we get back to seventy thousand dollars Bitcoin, I know it's going to take a while because by the time we are at seventy thousand dollars Bitcoin, the hype is already everywhere. People want to buy it before you know the price shoots past it, and then we are now at like you know eighty, ninety. $150,000 Bitcoin and at that point now think about the other assets you've been buying right where would their prices be as well like I said it's not been easy trying to do this because obviously it has taken me away from you guys I have not been able to like make YouTube videos I've not been able to talk to you guys which in hindsight I wish I didn't stop talking to you guys because you know my channel probably would have grown much more than where it is now as at when I'm uploading this video and I'll probably have much more followers and obviously I'd have been receiving much more income from YouTube as at that time, right? And also, too, another reason why I kind of stopped was I just wasn't mentally there, especially being that YouTube was not really paying that well, right? I was getting paid like maybe every three months or four months when I could be putting my energy into something else. So that's kind of what I did. I just kind of like left YouTube and then just went somewhere else. And, you know, yeah, it was a decision I made, but obviously, I'm trying to come back now and uh, yeah i hope everything works out oh and also too as well there's something i also want to talk to you guys about um for a while i've been making um when i used to make videos on youtube every week i try my best to like make or oh, at least 
twice or three times a month, I usually do what's called market review. In fact, that was one of the last videos that I made, a market review where I kind of like reviewed the market on where prices could be heading next and where you should buy, where you should sell and all that stuff, right? And obviously, I noticed that obviously not a lot of people are interested in that kind of video, but some of you were actually interested, where you guys actually do watch it and always want to like get my insight on where the market is going to and stuff like that, right? So what I have done now is that because I usually, even though I stopped doing it on YouTube, I was still doing it for some people offline, right? Not on YouTube. So I am bringing that back, but in a way that if you guys want to get your favorite assets reviewed, like be it stock, cryptocurrency, forex, whatever it is, right? If you guys want to review prices, I want to see where to buy or where to sell, I would like to get a much better view of where your favorite asset is going right i now offer fiverr services and what my fiverr service covers is basically what i just said if you purchase my fiverr gig i would cover from as little as um three financial instruments of your choosing i will give you a robust technical analysis of where the market could be heading and the prices to look for the where you should even take some profit where you should you know put your stop loss if you're trying if you're trying to trade and i will just give you a very robust analysis on where the market could be headed all right so for those of you that are interested in that i'm going to have the link in the description below you guys can definitely go on there go on fiverr you know purchase my gig and obviously you'll also be helping me as well because it's a way for me to raise money for myself as well but it's also a skill that i know how to do and i have been a trader for the past 10 years even before i even got on youtube right i have been trading forex market before i got into cryptocurrency market and then obviously stock market as well so my kind of analysis is called technical analysis where i basically analyze the charts based on historical patterns and then use that to kind of tell you what the market is going to do in the future and it does work right so that is what i also use to analyze the market for you guys whenever i tell you guys that okay this is where prices could be going next or this is what you should buy or are we at the prices where you should be buying and all that stuff right it's because of technical analysis and like i said i have been doing this for the past 10 years so it's not something it's not like i just started it yesterday or something so for those of you who are interested i will still be making those kind of videos on youtube once in a while but if you want it on demand you can just head on to fiverr i'm gonna leave the link in the description below where you can just use that to patronize me so basically i have multiple packages on there you can just go there check it out i have different packages where i can review as little as three of your favorite financial instruments to as as many as you want right anyways that's it for now i hope you guys have been you know filling that bag up for the next bull run um for those of you who haven't it's never too late to start you know we are still going to hit half a million dollars bitcoin for sure and that means every other cryptocurrency out there that is good that is offering value very important is also going to rise as well and for me after bitcoin is cardano it's almost as if cardano and bitcoin for me is the, they are the only cryptocurrencies that exist for me you guys know how much i love cardano cardano is still going to hit like i believe 30 dollars in the next within now at least if i'm to make a prediction in the next bull run that this bull run we're about to enter right now cardano is, cardano is going to hit at least ten dollars and if you guys remember there was one video i made for you guys on how much cardano do you need to have in order to be wealthy i'm going to have that link in the description below so imagine ten dollars at that amount of cardano you have a lot of money nigeria problem won't even be your problem because at that point you already have money you can go anywhere you want in the world you can go to these countries wherever you want bora bora bali wherever and just retire and not have to work a day in your life again but for how much did you buy that cryptocurrency right now how much is ada ada is like um 37 cents it's not even up to 40 cents yet so you can accumulate as much of it not financial advice you'll be well off in the future even in the next bull run as soon as the next bull run you already be well off not not talk of subsequent bull runs after that so anyways that's all i have to say for now and um, i hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll probably make a video for you guys this week but if i can make this week definitely 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 next week and i might have to like kind of like change my schedule because 
I might not be releasing videos during the weekends anymore, so it might do, be during the week, but I don't know yet, but I'll keep you guys posted. This is just like a welcome back video for me, just to kind of like let you guys know that I am back on YouTube. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Cheers, guys.